Hi guys, it's Harvey from All Pods Pool and Spa. Uh, this is going to be part two of Haywood Heat Pumps. This is the new R410 version. Still, the everything still applies. I want to touch on part of the pet peeves on me on installation. We have a roof line, house, garage, whatever. The reason why you don't want to be near the roof line is when it rains, the water comes down. So if you had this heat pump here and the heat pump was on, the amount of water running off your roof line either will slow down or bend your blade. And people come to me all the time and say, hey, Harvey, why am I burning out fans? Look above, look at your environment, and you're right at the roof line. Again, you want to be 24 inches away from anything that's from the coil. Okay, we'll talk about this area in a little bit. Reason why you want to be a minimum six feet over overhang, say if we took this heat pump over here near the house, what would happen, this blows out cold air. Heat pumps want to see the hottest air there is, and what would happen is the cold air would recirculate and it just would not see the pure true heat that it needs to see heat pumps like to see heat and humidity doesn't like to be on the garages doesn't like to be in the basements the other big pet peeve for me is access fat people like me need lots of room minimum is 24 to 36 inches these are minimums you can give five or six feet this front is your main access point, okay? So you want minimum 24 to 36 inches so a mechanic can work on this heat pump. Doesn't mean that you got your pool equipment here and you're out is here and you go right across this front panel with PVC pipe. Somebody has to cut the pipe to do the work on the heater. How are you gonna test the heater? Because you gotta replumb it, all right? Again, this is gonna be part two Again, I'm Harvey from All Parts Pool and Spa, talking about where you're putting things. Just be aware. Remember, read and understand your owner's manual. Even if you have units installed by a professional, take the owner's manual, read it word for word, and make sure it was installed to the manufacturer's specifications. Remember, this is the titanium. 410 unit has one year parts labor two years just in parts so it has a two year applied warranty that's if you comply to the owner's manual all right and there's other things that needs to be doing but this is part two look for part three in a little bit take care guys bye